Hi, I'm Corey DeSimone, an artist and a teacher. My website is www.coreysets.com. I'm here to tell you how the cheesecloth technique is done for faux finishing. When doing the cheesecloth faux finishing technique, it's very important that you first test out your technique on a spare piece of wood or a piece of cardboard, which is painted the same color as the wall or the surface that you're going to apply the technique to. Next, you're going to combine glaze with the colors that you're going to use for applying the faux finishing technique. After that, the cheesecloth is dipped into one of the paint colors that you choose to do the technique with. You blot out the extra and you apply a rolling and pressing motion um, in, until you come up with the, the sort of effect that you want. A second or a third color may also be applied in the same manner. I think it's best when you have separate shades of the same color instead of using a purple and a red and, and colors that have very high contrast because then you're going to get a very wild effect. When your test piece is completed, you're ready to apply the faux finishing technique to the actual piece that you want it to, whether it be a wall or a piece of furniture. So make sure to start out in a place where it's not very noticeable and work your way through. My name is Corey DeSimone and that's how a faux finishing technique is done with cheesecloth.